Minister Ravi Karnanayaka expressed the following views regarding the Ceylon Electricity Board. There are 6.4 million consumers. This figure continues to grow by 6 to 7 percent annually. We will make a difference. If the plan is to continue it as a monopoly, we will face difficulties very soon. As your Minister of Power, I make it very clear that Minister Ravi Karunanayake or Minister Champika Ranavaka or our President or Prime Minister will permit the privatization of the Ceylon Electricity Board. We are making certain modifications, not only to provide a better service to the consumer, but also to transform our losses into profits. At present, the CEB produces one unit of electricity for 22 rupees and 37 cents, but we sell one unit for only 16 rupees and 37 cents. So we incur a loss of 16 rupees per unit. We will not permit the increase of prices. But if we reduce our expenditure, this benefit can be passed on to the end consumer. We must ensure our consumer. No one has ever thought of this before. We do not require much funds. We can ensure our lives. We must ensure our workforce. The minister expressed these views during the inauguration ceremony of the Ceylon Electricity Board's Customer Service Centre in Palangama. There is no such requirement. They are informed of the changes that could take place in demand and supply patterns and rainfall. That is why emergency purchases were done during the past at the very last moment. However, we believe that if this is done two months before, we could maintain transparency. We received a request yesterday. The relevant parties claimed that it was urgent. However, the importance of such requests are only processed after a month. <laughs> Meanwhile, Rakit Jayabardhana has been appointed as the chairman of the Ceylon Electricity Board. The Minister of Power, Energy and Business Development announced that Rajiv Selvaraj has been appointed as the vice president and KK Tisa Jinadasa as a working director of the CEB. Estes Anana Kara has been appointed as the chairman of Lanka Electricity Company, while Sudat Jasundara has been appointed as the chairman of Lanka Transformers Limited.